In this experiment, I'm testing how variables like acidity and food avail availability affect uh, the growth of bacteria colonies inside, uh, inside uh, an environment. So with our samples here we have regular H2O, 3 milliliters, H2O with 2.5 grams of sugar and that's also in 3 milliliters but then there's the 2.5 grams of sugar added and then we have H2O with HCl at pH of 1 H2O and sugar 2.5 grams and HCl of pH of 1 and then we have Coca-Cola 3 milliliters 2.5 pH and what we're trying to see here is whether um, is what, what type of effect each variable has and which one is the most detrimental to bacterial growth so we'll see whether whether H2O whether bacteria can survive in the H2O or any of the others and then we'll see uh, uh, which uh, sample does the best to mimic the coke which is our uh, which is our which also has low, H, low pH and uh, high sugar content, content. We had the H2O and HCl and sugar, but in case there's something extra in Coke that allows for bacteria to grow or not, we'll know because we'll be comparing these two especially. Um, here we had BHI solution which we used to take uh, non-virulent bacteria, Listeria, and uh, we put that inside three milliliters of BHI solution that's getting ready and those bacteria are growing and in, a, and in an hour they'll be ready. Uh, here's some of the supplies, plenty of water bottle samples, Coca-Cola, sugar, um, all the tools, I've done this myself, I didn't get information off the internet, weighed the sugar over there, and uh, now we're going to go make some plates so we can uh, plate the bacteria when they're done growing. So I'm making the BHI and uh, getting this ready. I added BHI into uh, some distilled water gonna make 500 milliliters and then right now as you can see it's not very homogeneous but we're gonna take care of that with magnets Okay, let's turn it up. Yep, it's like a toilet. I'm gonna be back when this is done. As you can see we have a little bit of bacteria here. It's only grown for about half an hour um, but that's enough. We're going to pipette 400 microliters of this stuff into each and every single one of these samples then uh, let them culture overnight and uh, plate them tomorrow. So uh, I just added 400 microliters of Listeria to the Coca-Cola. Now I'm going to do the rest with 
each one. Here's the H2O. This is a control. And that's done. Now, these are going to culture overnight, like I said. Um, we're going to put them in the shaker at 220 RPM, and they'll be in there at 37 degrees Celsius. And tomorrow, we're going to come back, and they should be cultured. And uh, we're just going to... Uh, after that, we're going to have the plates ready. We're not, we're not, we're not ready. We're going to auto clear the plates because we're going to put everything in the fridge tonight. And then uh, on Sunday, the last day, we'll count colonies. And hopefully, al almost all of these will have no colonies or just very few because I don't want to count like 780 colonies for six <laughs> plates, you know? It's going to suck. <laughs> Because uh, I had to write all this too. It's it's homework, you know. Can't just be here all day. Last one. This is H2O sugar HCl. Like I said, this is an important one because it's supposed to mimic the Coca-Cola. Because that's uh, what inspired this experiment. And if this has a varying degree of bacteria to the Coca-Cola then obviously there's something in the Coca-Cola that's not in this simple solution that's causing that difference. So, uh, we have these guys ready now. We're going to take them and shake them. Voila! It's done. Um, so after it was done centrifuging, oh, not centrifuging, after it was done spinning, I took out the magnet, I poured it in, um, added 7.5 grams of agar because that's what it calls for and the agar is going to make this stuff solidify very quickly it's liquid now but in a few minutes it won't be so I'm just going to leave it somewhere I got to label it I'm going to leave it somewhere and uh, tomorrow like I said we're going to uh, autoclave this stuff and then make it into plates and then we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to have six plates total. We're going to have uh, H2O, H2O sugar, H2O uh, HCl, H2O sugar, HCl, Coke, and the control, um, the control listeria that's in BHI and frozen overnight. Well, not frozen, um, fridged overnight, so there's not a lot of growth. And uh, that's it so far. See you tomorrow. The cultures are done, the plates are done, we're about to plate them and see uh, how they grow. Okay, that took a while, but we managed. I'm going to go over what we have on the plates before we put these things away. We have um, H2O sugar HCl, that's 1x. H2O HCl, that's 1x. Um, H2O and sugar, 1x. Now, I suspected, I, I couldn't uh, suspect how much bacteria was in the coke because it was uh, darker. So we just had 10x and 1x. So there's a 10x dilution and a pure coke that we originally had. And the reason these only have 1x is because um, they didn't appear to have very much uh, bacteria, but we don't know for sure yet until we actually grow them. And then, this is negative control, this is the bacteria that we froze, that we put in the fridge yesterday, that um, we used to um, infect the other samples. Um, these were not allowed to grow, but we made uh, dilution so we, could, so we could compare them to the H2O, which appear to have the most bacteria. And uh, it's not suspected that the, that the H2O grew anything, but it is suspected that they're still alive, so maybe everything else here just killed it. Who knows? Uh, we'll see when we have the plates. We have a 10 to the 5th dilution of the neg negative control, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 3rd, 
10 to the second 10x and the pure negative control and um, comparable to that we have the uh, H2O which appear to have the most bacteria. Let me see if I can you know it's I don't know it's kinda cloudier than the others and it was clear like let me compare it to um let me compare this to something. Um yeah here's the H two O H C L right on the left we have H2O and on the right H2O HCl. Obviously this one is going to have more bacteria, the H2O. Right. And uh, so we have the H2O in 10 pure, in pure 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and 100,000 dilutions. We're going to put these at 37 degrees Celsius overnight and we're gonna compare them and count uh, bacteria tomorrow morning okay we'll see you then now that we've analyzed the plates we're going to take samples from the from the beakers that we've made and uh, now we're going to put them in some cuvettes and measure the DNA that's inside all of them to make sure we know uh, which ones were most successful in growing bacteria. So we've gone through a couple samples and writing down the results and so far the H2O is well in the lead. Of course HCL didn't do so well. I'm measuring the OD600 by the way and the BHI was uh, less than the H2O and the sugar was actually, um, the H2O sugar was actually very little and I'll mention why that happened um, later on. Sugar. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this with one hand now. You open the lid. You have to grab it at the sides because the sides are rigid and it has to be clear for the special photometer to read it. Right. I've got to fix this here. I'll be back when I'm done fixing this.